what's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Texan. and today this is going to be my preview for the game versus Wolves. I'm going to go through my predicted lineup, I'm going to go through the opposition and my score prediction, so let's get into the lineup. So in goal, it's got to be Edward Mendy. I'm not sure if Tuchel will go for Kepa or not, but it's surely got to be Edward Mendy. Kepa's performance on Sunday, I mean, he still saved a lot of chances, but the one when Luton scored him shouldn't have gone in. It was just unfortunately for Kepa that Zuma was kind of in the way of him, but it was unfortunate, surely... Surely should be Edward Mendy in goal. Right back, Reese James. He came back on form against Luton. And the games before he played, he wasn't really up for it. He looked in the game against Leicester, especially, he kept getting overrun, especially when he tried to track back. And with the second goal for Leicester, when Madison scored, James was completely out of position. So I do think James will come back in after a decent performance against Luton. Centre back pairing will be Thiago Silva, Kurt Zuma. Silva worked with Tuchel at. Um, PSG, so I think he'll start him in. Zuma was a bit iffy against Luton, but I think he should come in for Tony Rudiger. Left back, Ben Chilwell, I think he'll get the start. I mean, um, he didn't play against Luton. I think he'll come back in for this game. Centre mids, I'm going to go with Mateo Kovacic. He came off the bench. He went he with an amazing three ball to Timo Werner, but unfortunately, Werner missed the penalty. The other centre mid next to him, I'm going to go with Kai Havertz. I think he'll get the start with the German connection with. Um, Tuchel and the other centre mid should be Mason Mount. He's this player who's got to play every week, week in, week out for this side. Even if it's a different manager, he's been one player in and week in, week out. He's been performing absolutely brilliantly. On the right, Hakim Ziyech will get the start. He started against um, um, against Luton. He played pretty well, I thought. He got he got a second assist for Werner's go for Abraham's goal. I think he'll play on the right. On the left, I think Christian Pulisic will get the start with the German connection with Thomas Tuchel. And up front, I'm going to go with Timo Werner. My score prediction is going to be a Chelsea 2, Wolves 1. Win are going to go with goals from Timo Werner and Hakim Ziyech to secure Chelsea the victory. So let's get into the opposition side of things. So Wolves have not been doing well with them. They're sitting 14th in the Premier League, just below Crystal Palace. They've not been on a good run of form. They unfortunately lost um, Raul Jimenez to a serious injury earlier in the season. This might maybe be their form has dipped. Over the past, I think I was like it was like three months ago. Maybe the thing that happened against Arsenal, and I think it was a head clash with David Luiz or something like that. I think that's what happened. Unfortunately, Jimenez hasn't been playing for them, and then they've kind of switched back, switched to a different formation. Espirito Santo has kind of done that since the injury to um, Raúl Jiménez. They have Fabio Silva. I think he scored a few goals for them recently. I think he scored like a penalty against um, Burnley or something. And a few other penalties in the FA Cup, I think, he scored as well. And I think the, dan the two dangerous players is Pedro Neto and Daniel Pedence, who scored against us in the 2-1 defeat to um, us earlier in the season. I think Pedence's goal was a bit bit iffy. I don't know what happened. I think Edouard Mendy was kind of blocked by, I think it was James, who kind of blocked his view. Then it went right in the top corner. And then the counter-attack in the last minute. They went forward, I think it was a long ball over the top from a free kick, or maybe it was a corner, long ball over the top, and then and Neto went through, smashed it in the back of the net, and Wolves won 2-1. That probably put a lot of pressure on Lampard. That was our second defeat in a row after the Everton defeat. And then the last five games, they haven't actually won a game. They lost, they lost three and drawn two in their last five games. So could this be the chance for two called to turn Chelsea season around after the unfortunate dismissal of Frank Lampard? So guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, comment your predictions for this game. I'll see you for the stream tomorrow. Bye.